Now this is a big box. Hey, welcome to a new video. Now, the last one I did a vacuum cleaner, but now we're gonna do a sound bar. Um, I got it on a wide angle right now because this box is huge. Let's see here. This is the Sony A5000. And yeah, it's a, it, it's a big box. So I'm gonna unbox this. Now, I will tell you, this is an open box item that I got at Best Buy for on one of the Black Friday prices. Um, I asked if I could try it. I said, sure. So I grabbed it. I'm going to test it out. It says that everything's fine, but um, I don't know what it looks like on the inside totally. So we'll see how it is. Um, this is a, a, a big sound bar. It's 47 inches, so it's going to take up most of my space that I have right here. Um, but we're going to flip the camera around, look at what the box says, and then unbox it. Thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so there we go. So it's a Sony. So 360 special sound mapping, 5.1.2 channel, Dolby Atmos DTS-X, 360 reality audio. Hmm, high res. Um, go around here. It says they got it on September the 4th, 2022. And that's the front. Now here's the tag that was on it oh, at Best Buy. And it says, uh, no damage, no damage, excellent. So this is on sale at Best Buy right now for Black Friday for $7.99. I think I paid $6.20 for it. So hopefully it's all okay. It does all that. That's nice. Airplay, Chromecast, yeah, eARC. So the back is just a lot of text, but it does come with the soundbar, two brackets, the remote, an HDMI, and uh, TV center speaker cable. I guess that's if you have a, a, a Sony TV. I do not. Now right here is my Vizio 36-inch soundbar. So this is going to be quite a bit bigger than that. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and just get this open. Let's see. Flip all these down. Do not apply strong pressure to the speaker grill. Ah, oh, see it doesn't even have its wrap on it. It's just thrown in there. Well, let's see what we got here. We have startup guide, manual, power cable, not even wrapped back up, plastic junk. Nothing down there. Quite a quick startup guide, a remote. it comes with brackets. Then I'll put everything back in here. I want to keep this out. It's supposed to come with the HDMI cable. Uh, there is not one in here. Maybe it's in here. Uh, I don't know. We'll see if it's somewhere. I guess that was to wrap for it. There's a train. Hmm. All right, let's get this thing out of here. There it is. Whoopsie. No HDMI cable. Plastic. That's all that's in there. Hmm. There it is. 
So it was missing the H HDMI cable and it was missing the um, TV speaker cable, which I don't need. But I was wanting a new Sony HDMI, but oh well. Um, let's look at the speaker itself now. All right, so we got, here's the front of it. Now you can see the speakers in there, which is nice. And it's got some touch touch buttons up here. You got your Atmos up firing speakers there on both sides. And then it has two like subwoofers built in. And it's got little base ports for them. So that's good. It's a big, let me back up, I'll show you. It is a big speaker compared to my Vizio. It's huge. Okay, here's the back of it. It's got where your mounts could go, I guess. So on the back here, here's your ports. Let's zoom in on this. So you have that S center out, which I didn't come with that cable. Um, optical looks like, USB, TV eARC, HDMI, and HDMI in. So the end, it does do 4K 120 variable refresh rate, so that's nice. But pretty um, industrial looking, the soundbar is. Let's see how much power it uses. So here we go, it uses 86 watts, so that's not a whole lot. Interesting. Yeah. All right, let's hook it up. Okay, we're just gonna plug it in through the eARC, which is right here. Just like that, that's how I had my Vizio. Now let's plug in some power. Okay, here's the power. Super easy. So I got it plugged in, look at saying hello. Let's turn on my TV. So it says just hello. Alright, so I got it going. It has a nice on-screen di on screen display. So you can connect the subwoofer, rear speakers. Um, let me hit next to that. Uh, I got to do internet. So let me log into that. For some reason my screen looks weird on camera, but it says I need to do an update. It could take up to 20 minutes. So I'll be back, I guess. That is the how it looks. Oh, check internet connection. I do love the on screen display. Got speaker settings. So, I'll show you this sound field optimization. speaker I don't have anything right now audio settings Sony vertical engine DSE extreme hmm all right here's some copyright free music with the Sony 5000 uh, put on your headphones to get the best sound you it shows you the volume over here Yeah, 
that was loud. I want the max. So if you saw it in here, I want all the way to the max. Okay, here is one more. Destiny test just to see what sound is coming around us versus try lag. Yeah, there's no sound coming around at all. It's all front stage. That's a shame. Okay, here's the good old matrix part. Try to see if you can hear the sound around. sounds good it needs surround sound speakers all right let me show you more of this let's see can you see that let me get it to there you go now with cameras you set up easy advance advanced settings and you got speaker audio hdmi bluetooth system network resetting now i've been trying to do a software update and it's not working so i'll show you what it keeps doing Hit OK. Yes. All 
That's what it does. Enable the download software today. Check your internet connection. It's like trying internet connection is just fine. The problem is not resolved. Try running software out there another time. So they're they're having some troubles with this. This should be working currently. Yeah, it's not. So that's what that is. Let me head back. Um, you can go up here to listen, and you can do Bluetooth Auto, USB, Spotify, Chromecast, 3D Reality Audio, Amazon Net. So, and then watch, you have your eARC output, or you have a, a HDMI. I have it under this one right now, so. But, yeah, I would like to do a software update, but it will not let me. Yeah, that's really about it. Keep getting to this thing, this screen. Back to the matrix. Okay, so soundbar sounds sounds fine. Uh, it needs surround sound um, to really get the sound around you. It doesn't it doesn't throw it around you at all. At least not that I could tell. Um, it may throw some sounds above you because it does have the Dolby Atmos uh, fire and speakers. But that's really about it. So get some surround. I'll link them down below too. Um, I don't have those currently. So, um, but I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. I'm gonna plug in my Vizio back play the same stuff with the Vizio to see how the sound is. Okay, here we go. Here is the, my Vizio that I normally go with. Thinking I should ask if you're doing all right You weren't easy It's so hard to ignore Pull up on your right Ask what you're drinking Ask what you like Such a look in the dim bar light So damn cheesy Who'd have thought you'd fall for somebody like me? When you ask my name I panic So what am I late? Everybody was so magnetic Before I knew it We talked and Think about you part. Okay, so that is the unboxing and testing of the Sony A5000. Um, what what do you think? Uh, let me tell you what I thought. Um, it's a little bulky for what it is. 
It has enough base to really not get us up if you don't need it. Sorry, there's kids outside. But you need to surround sound speakers to get the best of it, okay? So yeah, so that's so you need to get surround for sure. Um, in my opinion, my Vizio sounds just as good, but you know the Vizio is a sub subwoofer, surround, and a sound bar. But it's for half the price of what this one sound bar costs. So you gotta, you know, weigh your options. So, anyways, um, I'll link it, link it all down below. Thanks for being here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Until next one. Bye bye.